we are live. How are you guys? I am trying to find my glue gun because I never have it out when I need it. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to create this, but I have something to show you first. Um, I just really want to get my glue gun plugged in so that it's nice and warm when we need it. Hold on. Let's get it. There we go. How are you guys? It's Tuesday. We're live for a second day in a row. How fun is that? Um, like I said, we're going to put this together, but we're going to do something a little different. We're using hot glue because we're going to use some moss. So I think this is going to be fun. Why does it feel like there's hard stuff in it? Hold on. Because there is hard stuff in it. Hey, my taffy got put in it. That's so funny. And I'm making a mess. We're going to add some moss to this and it's going to look super cute. I just know it. But before we do that, I want to show you something. Lots of you guys know Robin here. Um, I'm sure that if you've, I'm sure that many of you talked to her, but she sent me a box. I have to show you the Easter bucket that she sent, but we have to let Oliver open it first before I show anybody else. The cutest Easter basket for, bucket for Oliver. And unfortunately, the post office was like, huh, we're just gonna take our time and be slow. So it wasn't here in time for Sunday, but he is gonna love it nonetheless. It is absolutely adorable. Oh, here it is. I'll show you a sneak peek. I'll show you a sneak peek. Y'all, look at this, such cuteness. Oh my goodness, so cute, so cute. All right, but check these out. So she sent these to me and I did put them in my Amazon DIY uh, section on Amazon. Some of these I've never seen. I've seen these and I've told myself I'm gonna buy them. Uh, let me make sure I can see comments. Oh, there we are. Hello, hi Cindy, hi Wanda and Brenda and Deb and Jana. Man, we got all the cool people here right now. Hi Cindy. So I've seen these before, but I just hadn't added them to my cart or anything, but these are precision, bleh, precision tip glue bottles. They have the tiniest, ooh, this is silicone. It's not even uh, plastic. You guys, look how amazing this little uh, tip is gonna be for just putting a little bit of glue down. How many times do we put way too much stick fast down? I know I am not the only guilty one. Zoe, don't start barking. Anyway, I'm super excited to fill these up with some stick fast. And she wrote on here, game changer for small areas. So we're gonna definitely try that out. Can't wait to dig into those. Today we're gonna use super glue though. You got some of those from Timu for resin. Mm, that's good to know too. Check these out. These are sanding sticks. I use this all the time, which is great, but sometimes you need a little sanding in little spots. And you guys, I've never even seen these. Hold on. I'm sure that these are all different grits. They are. Like here's one that makes it pretty smooth. Here's a medium and here's a rougher one. So you guys, like all these areas, hold on, let me show you this. Like maybe you have an area, maybe you're covering this with scrapbook paper. This gets right in there. Oh my goodness. Aren't you liking those? Oh man, I'm super excited to try them out. So these are probably gonna be a game changer for me. You're probably gonna see me using these a lot. Um, you can use nail files like the, uh, the Emery boards from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all the places, but this is even smaller. They're very, very narrow. It's called sanding sticks. Like I said, hello, Marlon, how are you? I did add them to my Amazon shop, so make sure you hop over there and check that out. And here's the other thing, cotton tip swabs for glue removal. So if you get too much glue on something, look, so these, have, these are cotton tipped, very little cotton, but this is gonna just get the glue off where you maybe added too much, okay? Um, we can send you the link, hold on. Here you go. I don't think I can pin it for you, but 
There is, ooh, add to broadcast. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Thank you, Robin. Well, that's fun. Look how that goes. How fun. Let's see if we get the next one to show up. This is the project where we're going to work on right now. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Add to broadcast. <gasps> Looky there. It sure does. Is that link? Is this link clickable for you guys? Hey, try to click it. <laughs> Just teasing. Um, that's so interesting. I'm glad to know that this is even a thing on here. So cool. Very, very cool. All right, just something I'm playing with. All right, we're going to create this. So I'm super excited to try these out. These, you know, there's a tons of crafting stuff in the world. And you know what? Sometimes it seems like we have all the cool things. But I'm really glad that Robin shared these cool things with me because all three of them. And then she sent me a... Um, an Easter bunny cover for a candle. Oh my gosh, the cutest thing ever. I'll show you guys that on another live. Super, super cute. All right, so this is our bloom piece that we have inside our shop that just got released this week. It's four layers. So you have that layer, which, kind of, which has some shiplap um, etching on it if you want to paint it and have it shiplap. And then you have your bloom, and then you have your flower, and then you have your uh, top piece. So what we're going to do... I'm gonna go ahead and paint my top piece and my bloom, okay? That way they have time to dry. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get a coat on both of these. I don't want super white. It's like we need a utensil jar like we use in the kitchen for all of the best pieces Robin just sent, right? <laughs> I, I, you are absolutely right. Okay, so I'm going to use this color, light mocha. I like it. It's kind of a, it says light mocha, but it is like hardly any brown to it at all. It is just the, uh, it's like a creamy off white, but it's just a perfect color. So I'm just going to do my bloom. Now, it's okay if I go over my flowers here because this overlay is going to cover that, okay? So these are the flowers that you're gonna to wanna to paint. You don't have to paint these other flowers. However, there's a little bit of scripting that goes through it, so you wanna make sure that you cover that, though, too. And then we'll glue all this down. This, so we're gonna use the back. Instead of putting shiplap on it, or painting it to look like shiplap, we're going to put some moss on it. I thought that might be fun, something different. Um, I love painting things, but you know what? Sometimes we just want something a little bit different than just something painted. All right, this one's pretty much already dry, so it's gonna be perfect by the time we put it on it. That's your new ivory, you love it? I absolutely love it too. Hi Robin, how are you? Robin Willis. We have a couple of Robins on here. All right, let's go ahead and let's get this on good and then I'll go back over and do a second coat if I need to. This is a really good ivory. I agree. I think it's a new favorite of mine. I picked it up. I only picked up four colors, you guys. I try not to get paint every time I go to the dollar or the craft store, but there's always just pretty colors. And when you're a painter, man, you can always use colors. All right, I think that's pretty good, but I'm gonna let it sit. There we go. How about uh, we go ahead and paint the flowers too? Let's just go ahead and paint the flowers. That way it's done and we don't have to worry about it. Then we can do all of the, um, what's it called? The moss. All right, we need some green. Now, the green in our moss is gonna be this color. 
You can do Spanish moss, you can do this moss. There's sheet moss, which would work perfect for this because this one's gonna make a bit of a mess putting it together. Have I ever, do have I, hi Misty. Have I ever done the, a class on the ins and outs of craft fairs? I have not. However, I've done lots of craft fairs. So how about give me all your questions? <laughs> I could definitely probably put at least a, maybe a, a booklet together for you that would be definitely I've done lots of them I've done lots of them all right we'll put some new um, color street on today a little bit of gold not sure if I'm loving it or not but I really like pinks and um, reds pinks and reds are my favorite all right our tulips here we're gonna get we're gonna do a little bit of pink and then let's just make this bright. We're going to use some lime sherbet for here. We might add in a little bit of brown, but probably not. And then we'll put a little bit of yellow in with the pinks as well. I have this one called lemon. Yes, definitely send all the questions. And then there's so much when you're doing craft shows. There's, and here's the thing. You're not always going to get it perfect. I've done lots of crush shows, and some of them have been really good doing the same thing that I've done at all of them, and some of them haven't been. There are definitely things that you can learn and take away with you to other crush shows, though, for sure. Let's do, um, let's do this one pink with some yellow in it, and then let's do this one yellow with some pink in it. How about that? I think that might look cute. Let's go ahead and do, well, we need a round brush. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this cream that I was using with my yellow, just to make it a little bit more bold and vibrant. Oh, that's a cute yellow. That's a really cute yellow. There is a lot to craft shows, but I'm gonna tell you, there is good money to be had in them. There really is. I mean, that's pretty much how I started. That's how a lot of people start, I think. I'm going to turn this upside down so the flick of my wrist helps a little bit. And we're going to just bring in some yellow to this one. See, I did just a little bit of yellow to that one, and I might add some more pink on top of it even. Now I think I added too much pink. Let's do a little bit of yellow. Ooh, I like it with it down at the bottom like that. That's super cute. Now let's take our pink and just get a little bit on our brush. And that's a lot of it, but let me go back to my yellow now and let's try to blend some of that in because that's awfully bold. That's cute. I like that. These would be really cute with some glitter on them. Maybe we'll do that. Let me maybe add some glitter on them. Misty, we just cut a bunch today. Um, there's going to be a bunch that I'm going to box up today. Rita, you've done all over Indiana. Covered Bridge Festival is the biggest here. Ooh, that would be fun. The Covered Bridge Festival, that would be fun. I'm going to let my brushes sit in there for a minute as I do um, some of this. I'm going to get a little bit of this. It's called Leaf, I think palm leaf and just a little bit because remember we're going to use the um the lime sherbet but we're going to do most of it with a lime sherbet you do look you like it it's so cute but i don't want to do my um stems and my petals 
or my stems and my leaves too dark because remember we're going to have the moss behind it. This green is going to be a really pretty look on it. Y'all, I'm wearing one of our new shirts. It's our Don't Just Live Bloom. Thank you, Robin. Remember the shirts that we released a couple weeks ago? I showed you here recently. I haven't worn this one yet, and so I was like, oh, I gotta wear that. I really like it. I really like the simplicity of it, I guess I could say. All right, now I'm gonna get a tad bit of green, of the darker green, and just kind of go up and Look at that. I like that. Let's do a little bit right here. Oh yeah, I like that. Super, super cute. All right, let's let that dry now. That would be so awesome, Rita. That would be so awesome. All right, now. This may take a little bit. Um, hold on, let me grab a glue stick. However, I'm here, I'm bending down, hold on. Thought about using glue, but I don't know that if I am. I think I'm gonna put a really heavy duty coat of Mod Podge on this first, and then kind of press the um, moss down onto it, and then maybe if I need to use the hot glue, we can get some areas in. Um, Danielle, these are my cutouts. Yes, these are my cutouts. Looks like your daffodils, you got five different colors. I love it. I want some daffodils. Um, well, we have some mini daffodils that are Parker's that he brought home when he was in grade school and we planted them and they're still the cutest little things that they bloom every year. And then, <laughs> Only one that coordinates her shirt with her art project, right? It's so fitting. Um, but tulips, I want tulips. I haven't had any tulips, and so Parker's girlfriend got him some tulips this year for Valentine's Day. And I think it's warm enough now to get them planted outside. All right, we're going to put a pretty hefty layer of Mod Podge on this. But I think we have some gunk whoa now that's going to be a really hefty layer of mod podge let's go ahead and get all right like i said this is going to be a heavy layer of mod podge because i want oops there we go we got glue on my shirt now you are very welcome daniel it is in the shop there you go glue's gone This is why I need to wear my ruffled daisy apron every day. Yeah, and let me think. This is $16. This bloom piece is $16. Let's see. We might have a little bit too much on here, but I think we're going to be good. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be good. Now, you don't have to make sure you get it too much on the edges because um, remember, it's gonna be covered. We have our frame that's gonna go around all of it. But I would do as best as you can getting it to the edges. That way it's all even. And your frames lay evenly, I guess would be what I'm trying to say. All right, now we're just gonna, now we're gonna make a mess. And we're just gonna spread some of this out. Now, this is going to be um, a lot thicker when we're putting it together, okay? Just so you know, it's gonna be a lot thicker, and so it's gonna stand a little bit more. 
You're snagging this one for sure. I think it's gonna be cute. Um, sheet moss would probably work so good on this project here. Y'all, I have a big mess here. Kind of spreading it out some, but you wanna make sure it's all covered. So like I said, we may have to go into some areas and get it covered. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put it together and see. And then if we need to go back and add more, we can. And then it looks crazy. So we're gonna, um, we're going to, what am I trying to say? We're gonna scissor off. <laughs> we're gonna cut, not scissor off. We're gonna cut the excess. So don't worry about any excess that you might see right now over the edge. Well, that's a little ball of mess. All right, we need a little bit right here. I hope this turns out, you guys. I just had it in my head. Now, some of this may fall off, but it's totally okay. We're gonna get as much as we can attached to it. And then, once we put the layers on as well, oops, see, like here's a spot. It's not sticking well, so we're just gonna put a bunch of glue in here. Oops. There we go. Let's see. Let's get some up in here a little bit more. So once your Mod Podge dries, it's going to adhere it a little bit more. Thank you, Robin. Sheet moss, if you want it to not be as messy as what I'm doing, sheet moss would be the way to go for sure. We're gonna glue a little bit down here. So I'm just gonna randomly go ahead and go around and just do a little bit of glue. Now, like I said, once your glue dries, it's gonna hold it a little bit better. Oh, this is gonna look so cute. Okay, I think that's pretty darn good. Let's see. Whew, I got a mess everywhere. All right. Now, can we attempt to put it back in this bag? I'm not quite sure. I am not quite sure. Let's see. Do I see any bare spots? I do. Right in here. Let's maneuver some of this around so we can just kind of pull from other spots because it's kind of thick. Walmart carries the sheet moss as well. So good to know. I think I have seen it there, honestly. All right, now you can still see some of my frame, but remember that is gonna be cut or it's gonna be covered, okay? So now we're gonna go trim it. Now the only thing that may be tricky is we may have to put this on an easel because it may sit funny. But we're gonna try to maneuver it to where it doesn't sit funny. All right, see? And then we're gonna be gluing onto the top of this so you're not even gonna see this part, okay? Oh yeah, you could definitely add ribbons to it if you ran out of cord. Yeah, Rita, that would be really cute. 
That would be super cute. this mess I made this is like uh, moss raffia all that stuff gets everywhere looks pretty darn good to me um, so the first layer that I put on I am gonna use hot glue because we're gonna need the glue to get down inside your sheet moss, okay? So, hey Angel. So the first one, we're gonna do the um, hot glue. The second one and third one, so let's see, I'll show you. So the bloom is the first one. We're gonna lay that one down first. And like I said, we're gonna probably, look at that, that's so cool. You guys, I don't care that it looks like that. I think I kinda like it. So we're gonna press it down as much as we can though, okay? All right, let's get it done. Oops, not worse, old, old gunky, hold on. make sure our glue is good it was a bit clogged hold on it was a bit clogged that's what I get for leaving it plugged in I'm telling you and I'm also thinking so we're gonna have to do this a little quick because it does dry and cool down y'all know that just do a little bit of glue in some areas here I'm not super worried about there we go now we're gonna trim this again okay we're gonna trim it again you are going to have a space okay I'm fine with the space if you think it needs more glue or more moss, you could stick some in there, okay? You could definitely do that. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit more. We might add a little bit more there. We'll just have to see. I mean, if it's sitting and nobody's gonna see it, then See how it sits I don't know this may affect the way it sits too much but I think we can make it work you know the other thing that you could do let's do it let's do it I have an idea I have an idea to help that we're gonna do ribbon around the edge Okay, so now for this one, I am just going to use the stick plast, okay? Yeah, you could totally do that, Robin. She said, could you not glue the other piece to the bottom first and then both together at one time? Totally. You could totally do that. Why is my glue not opening? Hold on. I'm my pliers. Now, if you wanted your bloom to stick out a little bit more, meaning like be a little bit more vibrant, you could totally paint it white. All right, so this one, instead of putting it on here, I'm gonna put it on here, okay? I'm just gonna put some glue on here. So we need it all around the edge like this. And then we do need it on this part. Get it layered right. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so cute. <gasps> that is so cute, I love it. That 
that is what I was thinking, Robin. The tiny bottles with the silicone caps, you'll never struggle with them again. That's what I was thinking. I think I have the perfect idea for the edge of this, you guys. I think I do. I think I do. So, see? Y'all, it's standing. It'll still stand. But we're going to cover that edge up, and I'll... I'll We'll figure out what we're gonna do. I gotta find, we're gonna do it with ribbon and I gotta find the perfect ribbon. It's cute, look at that. Isn't that cute? It just looks like it's sitting on grass. I absolutely love it. Now, if some of these pieces don't really wanna lay down, um, you know, kinda lift it up away, put some more um, glue in there and then you'll be fine. It'll, and just press it back down. And say this one is just the frame. So the only spot we're going to put glue on this one is the frame. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely precious. Let's press it down. Now, let's see. Here's the only thing is I don't know that I have a ribbon that I want to use. I don't know if I have a ribbon that's gonna be the right size anyway, I guess I should say. Because this one's too big. Although, I think we're gonna use it. We're gonna make this one work, okay? Um, we'll just trim it off the back, okay? I just love this. I think it goes with it so perfectly. And maybe we could add a little bow somewhere else. Oops, did that just come off? No. Okay, you know what we can do? Let's put a little bit more glue in so we can squeeze it a little bit closer together on each of the edges. Yeah, that's gonna help. Let's do this. We're gonna squeeze a little bit there. We're gonna squeeze a little bit here and we're gonna squeeze a little bit here. And then we're gonna squeeze these in. Oh yeah, perfect. No, stay there. Let's press it down this way, actually. Looks like your son riding on the lawn when he was young. <laughs> oh, it brought you a smile. I love that. I love that it brought you a smile, my friend. This one hasn't dried yet. Hold on, this one's still pretty wet. Let's push some of that glue down in there some. Oop, this one didn't either. This might not work. We're gonna make it work though, I'm telling you. Yeah, I think encasing it with a ribbon is gonna be a really good idea. All right. We're gonna put more on the bottom here. There we go. There we go. That's much better. That's much better. I can see a little bit of glue right there, but I think if we leave it alone, like if I try to get it out, it's going to turn white and probably just look like a mess. And so I'm going to leave it alone because then it won't change the color and you probably won't see it. Okay, I think it's pretty good, you guys. We got some super glue coming out the, ever, the edges, though. Let's go ahead and clean it. I did have a good holiday, Rita. I hope you did, too. Ours was so relaxing. Obviously, James wasn't here. He's in Oklahoma. Um, we had a really, really good one, though. Let's do this side a little bit more. This side wants to be funny. That's good. This is cute. So I want you guys to think outside of the box when you get our kits. You don't just have to use paint on them, okay? You don't just have to use paint on them. We're gonna start here on the bottom 
and we're gonna start right here. This is a little bit wider than I want it, so I'm gonna make sure that my excess is at the back, and I may just glue it up like that, okay? But let's go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on this portion here. Now, we're not gonna want to overlay, overlap this at the bottom here. You're just gonna wanna butt it right. This is the bottom. You've never seen sheet moss? It would probably, it would have been the perfect piece for this, or the perfect, um, the perfect moss for this. Yeah, you just cut it to size. Okay, so now we're just gonna wrap this around here. Press it down so it looks like it's sealed along the edge there. Oh, sorry. And then we'll do the back, um, like the stuff that's hanging out. We'll just do kind of like wrapping a present. And I'm just gonna do half and half here. So I'm only gonna glue about halfway Pull it tight, press it down. Now, hopefully this sits. That's gonna be the question. If it doesn't sit, I will just lean it. Not a big deal. I don't, I, it's usually gonna be up against a wall or something. Oops, something anyway. I think I might have to retouch that up there. Hold on, I didn't get it glued right. There we go. Right there, I'm gonna need to touch that down a little bit more. Look, you guys. Oh, I'm so cute. this one up a little bit more it's okay if I wanted to touch up with a little bit of paint like in this area I could I'm not that worried about it though because I don't think it's gonna matter but I could take a little brush and just touch that up so you don't see the dark edge there isn't it cute Rita okay so here's where I said you don't want it to overlap okay because um, then it definitely won't lay right So I'll overlap it when I'm doing this, but then I'll just go back and cut it. Perfect. Oh, it's rolling away from me, coming undone. You guys, this might be my new favorite spring piece that we've done. I think it's adorable. So I got this from um, Sam's Club like three years ago, and it was there again this year. I love this. I use it on everything. I even use this in the fall. This goes with everything for my decorating style anyway. All right, so we had a little bit of a mishap here with some glue, so we're going to scrape that off and see if we need to repaint that, but I don't think we do. Oh, this is gonna look so cute. All right, let's go ahead and turn it over now and let's work on this. So all I'm gonna do now is kind of like fold it like a pat, uh, paper, like a gift wrap. And let's do this one. And we'll do this one. So cute. They have it at Sam's Club. Yeah. I haven't shown you guys that much every year because I'm like, they probably don't have it. I seriously got it so long ago. But I saw it again this year. This is so cute. So if your ribbon is too big, just wrap it like a 
and then this one will just wrap like this. Look, it looks like a finished canvas piece now. Oh my goodness, this just makes the piece look completely like a professional piece. This would be so cute to gift to someone. Super, super cute. Can, you can order online from Sam's. Let's see. Yeah, I just got some. So maybe I can stick some in your next package, Robin. <laughs> Look how adorable that is, you guys. Hold on. Let's clean some of the glue up here. This is adorable. Now, let's go ahead and do this a little bit. We're gonna touch this up a little bit. We're just gonna touch this up a little bit so that you can't see any of the brown. There's only a couple spots where you can see the edge. Not a ton. Look, now you can't see the edge at all. That's uh, grass that's stuck in there. There might be a little bit right here we can get. Hold on, let's get this spot right here. There you go, and I don't need to worry about the bottom. Oh wow, this is absolutely precious, you guys. So this is one of our stackers. Let's see, let me put this in here so it doesn't dry on me. Let's see if we can get it to stand on its own. Ta-da! It even stands on its own. Yay. So the, you know, it's not all pressed together because you gotta have leave some room in there for the moss, um, but it does stand. Y'all, look how cute that is. Now, if you have any pieces that are going over your letters that you don't want, just snip them away. Just snip them away. You know, if you put this up over, you know, the summer when you're done displaying it this year you might pull it out and have to glue a little bit more down but you guys check that out that's so cute i love it let's do this hold on i'll show you this oh, let's do this there you go so stinking cute i love it there you go these are in the shop you can add more detail work if you want. If you want to add some uh, polka dots or any extra design to those, you definitely, definitely can. Make it, make it yours. I love this. I think this is perfect for springtime. This is a great um, piece to use once I take all my Easter stuff down. Someone texted me today, it was actually Robin. And she's like, can you use Easter or Easter bunnies for spring or is it just for Easter? And I'm like, well, probably just Easter, but mine are probably, my Easter bunnies are probably still going to be up by the time 4th of July is here because that's just how I roll. <laughs> but I love it. We didn't quite bunch up there together, but it's totally fine because that's where it lays. So that's why I start on the bottom. Make sure you start on the bottom and that way you don't have to get it perfect. Now, if you did do this on top, if you accidentally turned it over and you're like, oh, I accidentally did that on the top, then you could put like a bow there that hangs over the top or something like that, like this. Let's see what that would look like. Let's see what a cute bow would look like. Oops, let's swap this again. So you could do a little bow like this. Well, Y'all get the drift, but hold on. I don't want a big one. But you could do a bow just like that, that's a loop, and you could put it up there. You could put it on the top. Hold on. And you could have a tail over here if you wanted, or just do the loops where you don't have tails. Hold on, I'll try and hold it up for you. It's not glued on, but it would kind of give you a good idea of what it might look like that's not centered, but there you go. So if you do accidentally start on the top, if you turn it over and you're like, shoot, 
then just do, yes, Betty, this one is in the shop. It was just added yesterday. So remember, every Monday we have a release and there's usually two to four items, okay? I will tell you next Monday's release is going to be our live tickets for our live event that's coming up and there's only 25 available. So you wanna make sure that you're on my email list, that you are here next Monday for those live tickets to be on sale. Some of them have already sold inside our VIP group. Um, the Monday after that, we're gonna have an exclusive um, page, Memorial Day, Veterans Day release that I know you guys are gonna love. So I got all this glue on my, look at that. That was the burnt glue that was inside my glue gun. <laughs> Let me, that might have just been a good reminder to me to unplug my glue gun, hold on. Because I'm so bad at that. I'm so bad at forgetting that. So there you go. Thank you, ladies. Oops, let's take this off again so you can see a better picture. Thank you for hanging out with me today as we made this. I absolutely love it. I hope you've had fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.